How do you feel about OJ today? We can't use that kind of language <laughs> on TV. <laughs> yeah. um, same hate, same disdain that I felt in the criminal trial it's never changed. It's not a question I know he committed the murders. And for that, it's a nightmare. I feel, um, I feel anger and I feel mm -hmm. um, appropriate anger. I think people get caught up um, when they hear my dad and I talk about hate or feeling anger towards him, but it's appropriate. Someone slaughtered our family member. It's hard not to have venom and hostility and anger, but it's appropriate because my father and I don't want to let it debilitate us. Um, mm -hmm. He already took one of the most important things yeah. that he could from our lives. And yeah. so I don't want to let him take any more from us. Um, I shared a, a story a long time ago that I saw him in a parking lot and I wanted to run him over and I revved the engine and you know I, I thought I was gonna take him out for a second because it was just me and him. Uh, but I thought about what my dad had already suffered through with losing my brother and what we as a family had experienced and I, it was a fleeting moment but it really kind of puts things in perspective about what you do with your, with your emotion and you figure out ways to process and, 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 and mourn it, and. And ultimately it wouldn't honor Ron. Right. Right. You know, I had a man offer me a high-powered rifle. He said that was not traceable, that I could take him out. And I said, you're talking to the wrong guy. Just walk away. And, and then he said to me, uh, you know, what? well, if you don't want to do it, I can find somebody for you that will. And I said, you don't have any idea who you're talking to. This is not, is not a, even something that, enters my mind. Wow. Well, let me, let me just clear for my father and I, just because we wouldn't kill him doesn't mean we forgive him for what he did. So I think people get confused um, with forgiveness. And, I, and I, I understand forgiveness. I understand the concept of it. It just it doesn't work for us in this realm. What hmm. he did was unforgivable. And I don't think that I need to afford any forgiveness for what he did. That does not mean that my dad and I can't find love and joy and happiness Absolutely. in our lives. And I think right. that's where people get confused. They mm -hmm. throw that word closure around. And you know, if, they, if you could just find closure, Kim and Fred, you'd be much happier. And we are dealing with this on an everyday basis because it's still everywhere 21 years later. And, you know, it's hard to, to move on and find closure when it's constantly around you. And we have to figure out ways to make room for it and yeah. so that it doesn't. I mean, I have a young son. I need to be a good role model and I need to make sure that wow. I'm not living a life that is less than stellar and like my dad said, honorable for my brothers. Hey folks, welcome. Uh, thanks for checking out my YouTube channel. Don't forget to click here to subscribe to my channel. That way you won't miss a single hot new video, some really good stuff. And then I want you to click here to see more clips from the show right now.